So there's this whole fight about uh, gender reassignment and gender affirmation. Now, come to find out, as we've uh, dealt with this and we've heard that there's a lack of research about the long-term effects of hormone uh, disruptors or puberty blockers or whatever you want to refer to them as. But little did we know that we had been watching the experiment of what uh, hormone disruptors do. According to Michael Jackson, he was introduced to uh, puberty blockers at 12 years old to maintain the pitch of his voice, which means that we've actually watched a person suffer the side effects of puberty blockers, and we saw the psychological impact on the self-esteem of of one of the most famous people in the world who still had self-esteem issues and didn't think they were handsome. So if Michael Jackson is a case study of hormone blockers or disruptors, then what say you about all of the other kids that will be exposed to this? If you want to read more about this article, click the link in the description and it will be a full uh, breakdown of this article with the link included. Check out J.B. Quinnen for the best news nonpartisan.